it's a pleasure, uh, pleasure for me to be here today because my previous work were about the mitochondria autophagy and inflammation in different diseases, uh, diseases uh, such as cardiovascular diseases, uh, chronic pain, and uh, psychiatric diseases. After this, in my postdoctoral work, if when uh, I started working in on uh, aging, uh, the role of uh, inflammasome in, in aging. Inflammasome complex is a multiplotein complex localized in cytosol and responsible of the systemic inflammation and recently has been described to be uh, responsible of a low-grade inflammation in different diseases. We have uh, described several inflammasome complex with uh, different structure uh, between this. But the most, the most described is the NLP3, NLP3 inflammasome because this is the most important responsible of the low-grade inflammation. Uh, when NLP3 is activated, uh, induce the activation of caspase-1 and this is the, uh, induced the activation of interleukin 1 beta and interleukin 18 and release the activated interleukin. Interleukin uh, inflammasome, NLP, NLP3 inflammasome, uh, have several uh, uh, inductors, uh, which, uh, when I have, uh, uh, for example, a uh, high level of ATP release, uh, free radical, uh, catechin B release, and in general, different uh, pattern of damage or pathogens can to induce the activation of the NLP3 inflammasome. For this, uh, NLP3 has been described in several diseases and it's very important to, to find a potential inhibitor of NLP3. Recently has been described the, the first uh, one of the ones the most important specific inhibitor of NLP3, the MCC915. During aging, we have several uh, potential inductor of the uh, NLP, NLP3 activation. For example, oxidative stress, uh, disturb in glucose and lipid homeostasis, and uh, the autophagy and mitophagy dysfunction because we can to accumulate non-degraded substrates. Uh, recently, uh, the, the laboratory of Bisha Disit show for the first time the implication of NLP3 during aging. But uh, they only studied uh, several, uh, several, uh, several markers of the aging. In uh, using wild-type mice and NLP3 knockout mice, they describe it uh, that the uh, NLP3 knockout mice show attenuate age related changes like uh, glycemic control, bone loss, cognitive function, and motor performance. So, after this, our proposal to, to, uh, to or, or contribution to a study during aging is the role of the NLP3 inflammasome in cardiac aging and the potential uh, effect of the, the new inhibitor of NLP3, the INCC950, uh, in the improve of, the, of head span and new possible function of the MCC. For this, uh, we started a project using the same mice, NLP3 knockout of mice, compared to wild type, and these mice show it uh, increased uh, survival compared with mild wild type, despite the uh, similar uh, progression of the body weight during aging, during the progression of aging in wild type mice, uh, we, can, uh, we, can, we can see several, uh, uh, several uh, market of the aspect during the aging, for example, uh, alopecia. On, uh, however, uh, NLP3 knockout mice uh, no show this uh, aspect, this characteristic, this characteristic aspect during the aging. Other interesting data is the, the correction during the aging of the glucosome stasis in NLP3 knockout mice. And in this case, we can, uh, we can show uh, in, uh, similar uh, leptin levels in NLP3 
compared to wild type. But adiponectin is increased in all knockout of mice. This is important because uh, the rate of leptin adiponectin, the increased rate of leptin adiponectin is associated with cardiovascular diseases. In the case of the NLP3 knockout of mice, this rate, this rate was showed reduced compared with wild type. Other data, other data about the, the uh, comparison between wild type and NLP3 mice is the AGI1, <coughs> which is showed decreased in NLP3. This is interesting because uh, you know that uh, reduced level of EG, uh, EGF1 uh, one, uh, in serum is associated to longevity and health span. Other uh, interesting data is also the uh, increased levels during aging of other cytokines, for example, TNF alpha. In this case, NLP3 show reduced level compared with wild type, but show also increased levels. This is important because this gives an uh, important role of uh, NLP3 and low grade inflammation during the prevention of aging. Cardiac tissues, cardiac tissues is showing very different uh, comparing uh, wild type with NLP3 during the aging. For example, here we can see uh, left ventricular more uh, more big uh, during aging in NLP3 compared with wild type. Uh, that could be, uh, could show uh, hypertrophy in the cardiac tissues. Comparing uh, by morphometric analysis, uh, methoxylin and zinc, um, uh, mesenchromic and serious rate to study the fibrotic area, we can uh, we find increased hypertrophy by increased cardiomyocytic area in wild type mice and reduced cardiomyocytic area, cardiomyocytic area in NLP3 and increased percentage uh, of fibrotic area in white type compared with cardium, uh, NLP3 knockout mice. After uh, ethnographic uh, examination, we observed an increase and prolongation of the PR interval in white type mice during aging. And this is important because the prolongation of this interval is uh, associated to atrial fibrillation, uh, which is an uh, 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 important marker during the aging uh, of the cardiac aging. NLP3 showed it reduces this uh, interval compared with white type. Other important pathway associated with aging were studied in this in this project. Uh, we found a reduced level of mTOR protein in wild in NLP, NLP3 knockout mice during the aging young and old mice. And uh, we know that the inhibition of mTOR induced the activation of autophagy. In this case, NLP3 knockout mice show it increased proteins levels of, for example, ATG12, uh, big link 1, and uh, increased uh, autophagic flux, uh, which we can see uh, by the, this increased level of LC3-2 and reduced levels of P62. Uh, by electron microscopy, we, uh, we found that this uh, reduced of P62 and, uh, of course, uh, increased autophagic flux is showed by the accumulation in wild type of uh, non-degraded autophagosome that mm, you cannot uh, find this in uh, uh, NLP3 knockout mice. We think uh, this is important because uh, this means that NLP3 knockout mice uh, have uh, has increased autophagy and increased autophagy flux. After transcriptomic analysis, uh, uh, we observed several important changes uh, during the aging in wild type mice that we cannot see these changes in NLP3 mice. Here, 
the comparison in wildcat all mice versus NLP3 all mice. But this is a very, a very uh, big study, uh, and we are studying uh, now the, the transcriptomic results. But one in interesting uh, data from this study was the change of these genes, NAMPT, which is associated with the rate limiting enzyme in uh, about uh, AND biosynthesis, which during aging is reduced. In old mice, in old mice, wild type old mice show it reduced expression of this gene compared with uh, NLP3 knockout mice. This is important because after this, we determined the AND levels uh, between wild type and uh, NLP3 uh, mice and observed increased levels in NLP3 during aging and during fat, for example, with high fat uh, diet and high sugar diet. So uh, we can think that NLP3 knockout mice have increased level of, uh, of production of END and, of course, increased level of expression of side 1. The other study about this project was uh, the test of the pharmacological inhibition of NLP3. Uh, for this, we used the recently discovered MCC night uh, 5T. This is the specific inhibitor of NLP3. We use all mice uh, from 18 months, and these mice were treated three months. After three months, we observed a reduction of body weight without, ch uh, without change in uh, food intake, and an, an improve in glucose homeostasis during the uh, during this uh, this time of uh, this time of treatment three months with reduction of basal glucose and basal levels of EGI GF uh, one similar to uh, uh, NLP three knockout mice. Other interesting uh, data about this bread was the, 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 for example, the protection of liver uh, about the steatosis. Here uh, you can see uh, accumulates, uh, accumulation of uh, fat in, in uh, all mice uh, treated with vehicle. And here uh, the liver, the section from all mice treated with MCC915 with reduction of total cholesterol and total triglycerides. Uh, reduction in general of uh, lipid accumulation. Uh, far more, we observed uh, a reduction of tumor incidence in all mice treated with MCC915 uh, compared with uh, all mice treated with vehicle. Similar to the other study, we, uh, we evaluate, evaluate uh, different pathway, and in this case, we uh, we uh, we have not uh, the same result about set one. However, we have uh, increased level of AMPK phosphorylation and a reduction, similar to the other study, of the mTOR pathway. Of course, the same uh, results about autophagy were uh, were studied, but in this case, we have not increase expression of big lung, uh, big lung one, but we have uh, the redux, reduced expression of P62. In this case, we think, uh, this is a preliminary, but we think that the, the probably here we have a rapid autophagy process, but we need to study this uh, with, uh, with more. Uh, here uh, we also do uh, a transcriptomic analysis, and uh, we observed several interesting, uh, several interesting results. But one important uh, result uh, for us is associated to peep, uh, uh, the pathway, PIPAR pathway, because all these uh, results about uh, the reduction of lipid uh, accumulation, uh, glucose homeostasis 
uh, for example, the prevention of steatosis is associated to uh, the induction of PIPAR uh, expression. After the analysis of uh, transcriptomic uh, and gene expression, we observed that PIPAR alpha is, is not uh, over the, the full chains, uh, about uh, 1.5, but it's next to the full chains. This could be uh, 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 because of the, the doses of the time of uh, the treatment, and mice uh, show it increased uh, protein expression despite the variability uh, between the individual mice, uh, not significant uh, uh, overexpression, but we, uh, we can think that uh, the problem could be the, the dosage or, for example, the time. For this, uh, in vitro experiment about using uh, hepatic cells about uh, the, the, the different doses of MCC in these uh, cells show it increased expression of, NC, uh, of PIPAR alpha, only a specific of PIPAR alpha and not other, other PIPAR pathway. This is interesting because uh, this could show a new effect of uh, MCC, a new, a new non-described effect of MCC 950. So in conclusion about uh, both studies, we think that NLP3 inhibition has effects in several hallmark of, uh, hallmark of aging. For example, reduction of EGF1, reduction of mTOR pathway, induction an improve of autophagy pathway and induction on side one and a, a, NAD uh, levels, which induce an improve of lifespan and health span. And this is very similar with the effect of other similar strategies to improve the lifespan extension and health span, such as rapamycin, caloric restriction, metformin, or, uh, for example, resveratrol. Thank you very much for your attention.